Welcome back to my channel, Mama. Today's video is for the mama who is looking to start her own business but isn't sure where to start. And so what I wanna to do today is give you the advice that I don't think anybody really out there is giving moms in business specifically so that you can start a business that is not going to box you in, feel heavy, but be sustainable, be profitable, and be the exact thing that you and your family need. So. Get cozy, get comfy, and let's chat. I think before we start, I just wanna give you a little bit more background on my story, okay? So if you don't know me, if you're new to the channel, my name is Jasenia. I am the mama behind Mama of Both Worlds, and my story starts eight years ago. So eight years ago, I became an entrepreneur when my firstborn son was 20 months old. I quit my job as the staff attorney at a local probate court and started my own law firm. Now, I had no business starting a business. I had no idea where to start or how to do it, but I did it and I jumped in feet first and I was actually able to create my, or replace my nine to five income within the first year of business, scale it to six figures and pave the way for my husband, who's also an attorney to join me in practice. So he was able to quit his job and we became a dual entrepreneurial family, right? Both of us had that freedom, that flexibility, that control that we desired and it's been wonderful. And so fast forward a little bit, while I was still practicing law, I started sharing my journey, right? I started sharing what I had been able to create with other moms. I started Mama of Both Worlds as a motherhood blog, just sharing the fact that we could have the best of both worlds as moms, right? We could be exceptional moms and exceptional businesswomen if that's what we wanted. And so moms started asking me to show them how I did what I did. And then I started realizing that I, what I loved more than practicing law was building the law firm, right? Business was just where my passions lied. And so I started shifting Mama of Both Worlds from that motherhood blog into business coaching and business strategy. And that's where we are today. Today, me and my family live in the beautiful state of Hawaii. And it's all made possible because of entrepreneurship, but more specifically, my online business strategy business. Okay, and so 10 months ago, we were able to close down the law firm and just go full in on what started as my side hustle, right? It started out as a motherhood blog, but I was able to grow it to a place where it's now able to sustain my family and I to live in the most expensive state in the country. And so I know a thing or two about starting businesses from scratch, making them work to actually create the results that you and your family desire. And so what I wanna do in today's video is really talk to the mom who is contemplating starting a business. She really desires to do so, but doesn't know where to start or has just been hearing advice that doesn't really connect with her and doesn't really give her what she's looking for. I think that there's a lot of talk in the online space. It's very easy for it to get like noisy and you're often confused like, well, should I be doing it this way? Or this one said to do it this way. And the truth is that there's no one right way, right? Many ways can work to get you to a successful business. The key is to find the way that works for you. And so what I have done, because I am a mom in business and I started my business after being a mom, right? So it wasn't like I built my success mother or childless, right? I built my success with my children in tow, right? So they were my biggest distraction and my greatest motivation at the same time. And so I understand the struggles. I understand what we're coming up against. I understand our desires and our dreams and our passions. I understand that we have certain responsibilities and duties, but I don't view them as limitations. And instead I view motherhood as the thing that empowers me and strengthens me to create what I've been able to build today. So I wanna give you the advice that I wish somebody would have given me when I started out and the advice that I give all of my clients and just everybody, I, like I want every mom to hear this information. And so I figured I'd make a video on this. So if you are looking to start a business or if you've just recently started, I think that this information is gonna be super helpful for you to make sure that you are building it in a way that is sustainable and profitable at the same time. Okay, so if you're just starting and you have like no idea where to start and you're like, I don't even know what my business should be about, it's really easy to go like write a post in a Facebook group and say, hey, what kind of business should I start? And you'll get 
a ton of information. A lot of it will probably be MLM, like network marketing opportunities. You'll see a lot of like, you can become a virtual assistant from your home. You can become a travel agent. And all of those are great options and opportunities and I'm not knocking any of them. Why I'm bringing that up is that it's not beneficial for you to go to others to make that decision. And like, totally go to, you know, the online space for ideas. But when it comes down to it, it really needs to be you who's uncovering what that is. And so here's what I think is the first step for you. Figuring out where your strengths and your passions intersect. And that is the kind of business that you should start. You can be really good at something and just not be passionate about doing it. And so what's gonna happen is that, yeah, you're good at it, but you're not gonna wanna grow it because it's gonna feel like a job, right? It's gonna feel burdensome, it's gonna feel cumbersome, it's gonna feel like work. And when you are the person who's in control and not just in control, but your income relies on you showing up for your business, you don't have a paycheck coming in, right? You have to want to work on your business. And so it has to be something that really lights you up because even when it lights you up, there's gonna be days where you just don't wanna work on your business. But the chances of you continuing on are greater if it's something that you love. For an example, I can give you, right? At one time, it really served me well to start my law firm, right? I was passionate about law. And then I realized that I wasn't passionate about law anymore. What I was passionate about was helping other moms create the success and the freedom that I created for me and my family, the opportunities, right? My husband being able to quit his job and the flexibility and the freedom that it gave us, right? I wanted to show other moms how to do that. And so I could have just continued on in the law firm and sure it would have grown, right? And I had my husband working in it with me, but that was my strength, not my passion, right? And so what I realized was that I have additional strengths. We don't just have like one strength, right? And also like we can learn strengths, right? Like we don't just have to be naturally born with the strengths that we have, right? We can go out and, and learn these skills. And so I really decided that business, business strategy, marketing was what I was really passionate about. And I was good at it because I had built my first business to six figures like with no experience whatsoever. And so what I did was I honed those skills, I crafted them, I invested in making them bigger and better. And now my skills and my passions intersected in business strategy for moms, right? And now that's the business that I currently run and my husband helps me run this business as well. And so my first piece of advice where to start is figuring out what are my strengths and where, what are my passions and where can those intersect, okay? How can I bring those two together? Something that I'm good at, something that people come to me for all the time, or they're always asking me for advice. Sometimes we overlook those things and we think that, well, that's nothing, or that doesn't require a certification, or that doesn't require a college degree, that doesn't require, that's not like a nine to five job, but it's still your skill, it's something you're good at, it's something that people need, right? And so you're really good at that, are you passionate about it, right? Could this fill you up? Would this light you up? Would you feel, fulfilled doing this every single day, right? Figuring out where those two collide, that's gonna be the kind of business that you should start. So where do we go from there, right? So now we know what our business should be. We're like, okay, this is the kind of business I'm gonna start. What's the second thing that you should do? I bet you, you think I'm gonna tell you to like, identify your ideal client and pick your niche and mm -mm, we're not there yet. We're not gonna do that, right? And this is the step that everybody else kind of just overlooks for moms and business. But this is what I need for you to do. I need for you to define your long-term goals. Why do you want this business? What do you want this business to create? Not just income for today, not just income for tomorrow. What is it that you want for your life? Two years, five years, 10 years from now. What do you want for your children's life, right? We need to do this. We cannot skip this step because this is what is going to inspire us. This is the information that we need to understand the business model that we need to create. If you skip this step, you will create a business that eventually will box you in, right? It'll box you in or you'll plateau or you will just have to give up because it's not sustainable. And I see this all the time. I think it's like, so I don't even know what the word is, but 
moms in business who are marketing right this is in their marketing to other moms saying hey hire me so that i can show you how to have a less busy life and yet their business is just piling on the busyness to their own schedules right no we don't want to do that right it, it just like ugh, i'm like ugh. don't build your business that way right like especially when you see the importance of moms getting back their time are you getting back your time or are you trading it for money we don't want to build a business that trades time for money we want to build a business that creates time and money simultaneously because what is one without the other right one okay you have money so you can pay your bills and you can you know build financial security but you don't have time to enjoy with your family and your friends and your loved ones right you don't have the time to actually enjoy the fruits of your labor and then with the other one, okay, you have time, but it came at the expense of financial security, right? And so you need both, right? You need to be able to have a business that creates time and money simultaneously. And the only way you're gonna know how to build your business with this model is if you define your long-term goals, right? Do you wanna travel? Do you want to homeschool your children? Like, is that something that maybe today they're really little and so you don't need the time for that, but that's a plan that you have in place for the future? Do you want for your husband to quit his job and work with you or work on his own business? Do you like, what do you want? Because that's going to tell you what kind of business you want to create. We can't skip this step. We have to know this is going to let you create your offers, right? Not just one-on-one, -on -one, but one-to-many. And so again, you don't want to just work with people one-on-one -on -one because that you're trading time for money. You want to have products and offers not products by like physical products right your product suite which is like the way people can work with you you want to have offers where you can have you serving many people at once so you're not trading time for money you are creating time and money at the same time but you can't build that and you won't build those offers that way if you're just listening to the noise out there that's like land your first client become fully booked out one client after the next after the next like that is why so many moms stall out and they either quit their businesses or they have to burn their businesses down and then restart them if you do this step you won't be in that situation in the future so you know what kind of business you want to start now i need you to define your long-term goals so that you can then create a business model and offers that can actually bring those goals to life and not keep you as the busy mom that you're trying to help. Step number three, this is the last piece of advice that I have for you, right? Because we're just getting started. So I don't want to overwhelm you and inundate you with like, there's so much to do, right? Figure out what your business is, figure out what your long-term goals are so you can develop the business model that's going to take you there. And then you're going to figure out your marketing plan. And again, people skip this step. And here's what's being told, right? Here's like the, the advice you're being offered is like, pick one to two platforms and go all in on them and don't stop until you've like really built an audience there. And guess what? Like I used to give that advice because that was the advice I was given. And then I realized, wait a minute, as moms in business, we don't have the bandwidth to just put our eggs in one basket. We need to have our eggs in multiple baskets. We need to have businesses that are working for us when we're not working, when we're taking care of our children, when we're homeschooling our children, when we're on vacation with our family. Again, when we have that long-term goal spelled out for us, not only are we building offers and a business model that can sustain that dream, but we're also implementing a marketing strategy that can further that goal, right? We want to have a marketing strategy that is working for us when we're not working because we cannot be working 24 7 we don't have that capacity that doesn't mean that we don't have the potential to create massive results it just means that we need to figure out a simpler way of doing more right simplifying doesn't mean doing less it means figuring out a smarter way of doing more we want to put out the same amount of output and show up the same amount that those who aren't moms are showing up just simpler right repurposing content batching content getting on multiple platforms, using those platforms the way that they were designed and intended to be using so that we are leaning into their strengths, right? Not fighting an algorithm. That's what we need to do. So you need to develop a marketing plan that is actually going to further your long-term goals. And that's why we're doing it in that order, right? What kind of business should I have? What are my long-term goals so I can set up my business model to actually make those goals sustainable? 
and the goals can make my business sustainable, right? And then what kind of marketing plan can I put in place so that I can actually move ahead and propel forward towards creating those long-term goals? So that is where I would start. That is what my advice would be. If I were starting my business over or I don't know, just in general, right? This is the advice that I would give to my clients, clients who come to me today, tomorrow, yesterday. This is the advice that I would give for you. Really get clear on what it is that you are good at, right? Where do your strengths and your passions intersect? What are your long-term goals and how can you achieve that, those goals through a business model that's actually working for you? And then developing a marketing plan that's working for you when you're not working so that you are working towards those long-term goals. So start there. I have more for you where this came from, right? I'm in the process of creating more videos like this because that's my goal, right? Is to have more moms empowered and empower, right? Like I, I know that we are stronger than we even believe in ourselves, right? And we're capable of so much more. And we have the potential of changing our family's legacies. And so I want to equip and empower other moms to do what I've been able to do for my family and then some, right? And more and bigger. So start there, come back. I will see you in next, the next video, maybe not the next video, but I'll see you in the next video. Eventually when I have these all done, I will put them on a playlist so you can watch them back to back. But until then, subscribe, follow along so that you're notified when the next videos drop. I will link my latest video here for you to check out so that you can see if you do wanna follow. And also I will drop the link to a free training I have called Mamas Do It Different, which is all about the strategy. It goes in like immense depth about the kind of business strategy that moms specifically should be using. And so I'll link that below and I'll see you in the next video, mama.